Okay, I don't know what the hell's going on with Facebook. This is like the fifth fucking time I've been trying to do this live reaction. So I'm going to make it very quick. I'm getting a little frustrated with this app. But, uh, episode seven. The show just keeps getting better and better. I mean, we had episode five with the, uh, single shot edit video. We had episode six where we had the big plan reveal. And now episode seven. And again, pieces are moving on the board. Players are going this and that direction. Uh, it's another episode I'm going to have to sit with. Uh, I, I don't know what direction Sam Esmail is taking us. It's it's getting bizarre and yet intriguing and engaging at the same time. Uh, I just can't believe we're watching such great television. And I'm really, really enjoying this season. I couldn't think things could get better. And we still have... Uh, eight, nine, and ten to go, so three more episodes I, and two more seasons. I have no idea how they can keep this, this, you know, this going. I have no idea where they're going. I it just, it's just, oh, mind boggling. So a lot happened. You know, Angela's breakdown, Darlene, Tyrell Wellick, just oh, the emotions have been, you know, gone to a, the to the tenth degree, a little horror esque with uh, Leon driving. Uh, Frederick and Tanya are finally finding out what what happen, happens to Mobley and Trent. And uh, seeing there was like this old movie with a uh, record. Harrington, he's a German actor. You probably know him from Blade Runner as the the main android. Uh, he was like this hitch. I think it's either called Hitchhiker or something like that. With Tom Thomas C. Howe, where basically he's a stranger that gets in the car. They they pick him up and they end up getting terrorized. I think it was even might be in an, like an Ashton Kutcher movie that was something similar to that. Uh, or no, it was an Ashton Paul Walker. You know, the stranger in the desert. You know, you're not supposed to pick up hitchhikers and taking out the desert, and you have to evade and kind of horror esque. And you keeping up with that theme. Uh, very, very, you know, I always like, I've always liked Joey Badass. I always liked him as a rapper. I kind of like, even like him as an actor. I like to see him to do more things if he can. Uh, he's great in this role. Uh, very tailored to him. But, yeah, just a, just an amazing episode again. Uh, they just, just keep, I have no idea, no theories, no idea where this, the direction of the show is going, which is fantastic for me. It's even probably the first time as a television uh, a watcher and just being very passionate about certain genres that I don't care if they give me answers. There are other shows like X-Files, Lost, um, even Babylon 5 to a little bit that I wanted answers and it wasn't revealed or given. If this show doesn't give me any answers... I'm fine with it. I've been, been so entertained and so satisfied by that. Uh, but let me get to the giveaway. Um, this is giveaway number three, which is uh, Ode to the Swede, which is you get a Swedish fish. You get uh, the Swedish tea that was offered to Tyra Wellick uh, during episode three of this season, Legacy. And you get your pick of uh, Au Revoir to the Red Wheelbarrow Barbecue uh, food place, your pick of a uh, food item, whether it be, uh, not food item, <laughs> whether it be a um, shot glass, uh, a hoodie, or something from the store in itself. So, let's see what we got here. And uh, the winner, I can't say the name, the winner is Zaina Zodan. So, I'm going to message you. I've already messaged and given out the uh, Red Wheel Barrel book from last episode, uh, episode six. I got a response there. Haven't gotten a response for the lockpick kick. I might just pick a random person or I might just put it up there and say anybody wants this gift and whoever first messaged me back um, gets it. Uh, but for this one is Zena Zodan. Um, I'm going to message you tonight uh, let you know that you're the winner of this particular gift. Um, doing another giveaway next. Uh, for episode 8 which is I think it's the gift card to the, the trunk uh, box you know the thing that Elliot did the subscription service uh, gift card to that I believe that's number 8 I'm not positive might have to really check that but yeah again another amazing episode another great time um, I should be finishing up um, the editing you know it's holiday seasons here so I, I got a little bogged behind for the review for episode 6 
and I probably think I have time tonight to be able to just put out episode 7 too at the same time. So it's a great time, friends. It's a great joyous time. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself when this, 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 the end of this, whatever the ending for this season is going to be. Well, I, I got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I love that show, so that might hold me over. And I, I don't do reviews for Star Trek Discovery, but I, there's really not that gripping television drama right now for me, uh, like Mr. Robot. And uh, there's going to be a void for a while. Ugh. The wait is going to be atrocious, but I'm going to enjoy it while I can. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for listening. Uh, congratulations to Zin and Zadine. And I apologize if I mispronounced your name there. I'll be messaging you tonight. And uh, till next time, friends. God, this show, man. God. Oh.